Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. I created the spaceship tutorial as a step-by-step -step a while back. This is the continuation of this one. I took the elements from the spaceships, added a few new ones. There's a few more cockpits, a few tails, some wings, some hull parts, guns, engines, deco and signage to allow you to quickly and easily create side-on or top-down spaceships for your game while making use of the ability to scale, rotate, squash or edit elements in vectors quickly and easily and without loss in quality and then export the final design to PNG to use in your game. Let's start with a new one. I select an element, duplicate it, and then start deforming it. Let's add another hull element to this one, maybe this one. The advantage of the duplication over just dragging it into the scene is that if I want a second element of the same style, it's still available and I can just add it after. So it's quick and easy just to press Ctrl D to duplicate whatever you need and reuse it. Or you take it in the scene and duplicate it there. Let's add some wings. Okay. And the bottom wing here. Some fancy engine. With page up, page down, you can rearrange the sorting so that elements that are supposed to be below end up below the elements you want. So maybe this one needs to go behind there. We can't have enough big guns on a plane. So let's add one here. This one needs to go down. And another one here. You can select the hole and scale it, squash it a little bit to adjust it just the way you want. Okay, maybe two engines is a bit too much. Let's take that one off. Once you've set things up, you can go in and say, okay, I want the colors and make this one something greenish. Let's see how it looks with a bit of signage on okay there we go always like a skull put that one here Turn it down. Once you've done the basic designs, and there's something missing here, let's give that a lighter color. Um, you can always go in and use new shapes to add, for example, if I want more shading here, a little bit more highlight. Convert it to a pass to edit it and go in and add the elements that you still want on top of that. Okay, let's call that file. Select everything. Go to File, Export PNG Image. Select the name you want to export it as. So this one would be Spaceship 1. Make sure you have selection turned on as well as hide all except selected to create a transparent PNG. 
click export and we have a PNG image we can use in our game. Play around with it, have fun. I hope it helps building your game assets. That's it for now. See you soon.